And now for the AG Mobile tail of the tape. Nine years older is Chibub than his opponent, but it is Karimbo who has a massive nine centimeter reach advantage. The AG Chrome Ultra Smartphone with Android 4.25 inch screen and GPS. Ultra features at a small price. Shane the Duke Wellington is standing by with the official introductions. Ladies and gentlemen, we are live! Proudly brought to you by Keith Ho Bet Exchange, the ultimate sports betting bookmaker. This is EFC 37. And now, our first main card bout is three rounds in the EFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist with 12 wins and eight losses. He stands 1.71 meters tall, weighing in at 70 kilograms. Fighting out of Savoy, Johannesburg, Alexander, the Professor Shibub. And now introducing his opponent. He's fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist with a professional record of four wins and no losses. He stands 1.83 meters tall, weighing in at 69 kilograms. Fighting out of Sunning Hill, Johannesburg, Timba, the answer, Gorimbo. And when he actually begins, our referee in charge is Vickis Swartz. The lovely Hexagon Girls, probably brought to you by Rex, Diff and Gearbox, driven by perfection. Naomi and Michelle here at Carnival City. Alex, you ready? Timber, you ready? Let's fight, guys. Start this bout presented by Pitbull, the world's only FDA-approved energy drink. Chabub in the yellow, Garimbo in the black. And it's a massive advantage in terms of reach for Garimbo. And he's got those long legs. He's looking to strike from distance here. Alex Shabob has competed as a middleweight as well as a welterweight, so you'll certainly be used to fighting guys that are a lot taller than him, a lot bigger than him. shabob has got that unorthodox fighting style, so quite difficult to prepare for, and we know a submission specialist of note. Very hard to mimic that sort of style in the gym. Body kicks thrown by both, and, and almost immediately Shabob looks for the takedown. Karimbo. Karimbo might have, he might have him in his guillotine, though. That did not work out well for Shabob. He's going to try and pop his head out. Should be able to pop it out from there, but Karimbo squeezing. He's got long limbs, does Karimbo. Now Shabob is out. Shabob has 20 fights almost, under his belt, though. Almost immediately sets up for the arm bar. It's Timba Karimbo. Let's it go. He's still got a hold of, of Shabub's wrist. Shabub tries with an elbow over the top. Unsuccessful, though. Very active guard from Timba Garimbo. Now moves himself to the back of the fence. Try and use it to get back to his feet, most likely. But Shabub tries to grab a hold of that single. And Timba Garimbo easily gets back to his feet. Now goes straight back for that guillotine. Trying that is in tight. Shabub is defending for all he's worth. Garimbo so determined to get the win here. Cranking as Timba Grimbo's got to be careful not to blow his arms out. Just wants to finish things here. Vickers Swart having a close look. Down they Drags go. it down to the fence. And there it is! Up, he's Timba Grimbo makes it five straight victories with a clinical submission of Alex Chipup straight away into the crowd to his teammates. Timba Garimbo yet to see the second round in his EFC career. Sniffed blood, he had a hold of Shabub's neck, stuck it out for a second too long with the takedown, and Garimbo just wouldn't let up and wouldn't let go. Team captain Norman Vessels drags him back into the hexagon. Timba Garimbo, though, some massive improvements in his game, and he's certainly now someone has put up his hand in what is a very competitive lightweight division. The action replay brought to you by GNC. Peak performance down to a science and Karimbo so determined and so aggressive from the onset. He was never going to let go of Shabob's neck. He had that in, he had that cranked up and Shabob is as good as anyone when it comes to submission defense. But when it's in that deep, there's just nowhere to go. He tried to hold on for all he was worth. And Garimbo just cranking, cranking, cranking. No way for Shabob to go but to submit.
That's all over for Alex Chabub. And Karumba straight away over the top of the hexagon to find Demart Pena and celebrate his fifth win. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Vicar Swart has called a stop to this contest. One minute and 50 seconds into round number one. Declaring the winner by tap out due to a guillotine, Timba. The answer.